Hi everyone, welcome to this overview and tutorial for the Harmony Engine plugin from Antares. Harmony Engine is a harmony generating plugin that lets you produce harmony arrangements from a single vocal or a monophonic instrument track. Harmony Engine is a really deep plugin with a lot of advanced functionality. So this video will be an introduction that shows you the basics of how to use the plugin, and we'll have other videos coming soon that will be more in-depth tutorials diving into some of Harmony Engine's advanced features. In this first example, I'll break down the input signal chain, and I'll show you how to create a single voice of harmony. Here I have a song I'm working on called Highways from Sophia Veraz. And in the chorus, we've stacked up her vocals in unison, but there's no harmony here. Let's give this a listen as is. So she has a really nice voice, but I want to add a bit of basic harmony, just one voice of harmony to thicken up this section a bit. So I'll load up Harmony Engine on the lead vocal, and there's definitely a lot going on here within the plugin, but I'll walk you through this step by step. So on the left, you have your input channel. This is the signal coming into Harmony Engine, so this is essentially the dry signal. Here you can adjust the volume or gain of the input signal. You can solo this, mute this, and you can adjust the pan as well. Additionally, you can adjust the tracking of the input signal. It adjusts how accurately the plugin can identify the pitched or voiced elements in the input audio, and ultimately this will affect how clean the harmonies turn out. If you have a very clean recording with no noise or headphone bleed, you can set this closer to the choosy setting. And if you have a recording that has a bit of noise in it, or if the singer is a bit more breathy or has some natural grit or other unvoiced elements in their vocal character, you can try a more relaxed setting. If you're not sure, a good option is just to set it toward the middle around 50. You can choose one of four input vocal ranges, soprano, alto tenor, baritone bass, or if you're using this for instrumental harmonies, choose the instrument setting. I'd say her voice is more of a mezzo, soprano, or alto, so I'll keep this on the alto setting. The model glottal option lets you specify the glottal intensity level that's applied to the generated harmony voices. The glottal is the sound that's produced by the vibration of the vocal cords. It's determined in part by the anatomy of the singer's vocal tract, but it also varies based on the loudness and intensity of the singing. To preserve the natural character of the original vocal, start with this control set to medium, and then dial this into taste as you start creating harmonies. The denoise button reduces noise and artifacts that can sometimes occur during the formant correction and pitch shifting process. So if you want a smoother vocal harmony, I recommend keeping this option turned on. Harmony Engine has four harmony voices that can be created from a single vocal or instrumental input. For this example, I just want one harmony, so I'll mute harmony voices two, three, and four. For each voice, you can select the interval that you want to harmonize at. So right now, this is set to an octave. Let's go on highways, highways, let's get out the city and drive late, drive away, this feeling so pretty, I... Maybe I want this to be a third instead, so I'll select the third above option. Let's go on highways, highways, let's get out the city and drive late, drive away, this feeling so pretty, I... There's several different options here, including harmonies above and harmonies below the input signal. The third on her voice sounds pretty good, so I'll stick with that. Now, the harmony that's produced is dependent upon the harmony control parameters, particularly the harmony source, key or root, and scale. Now, this song just so happens to be in the key of C major, so I don't need to make any changes to the harmony control. But if you're in a different key, you can choose a different root or tonic note here, and for example, if you're in a minor key, you could select natural minor here. For each harmony voice, you can adjust the volume or gain of the harmony. You can solo the harmony, mute the harmony, and adjust the pan of the harmony. The throat length of the voice controls the formant balance of the harmony. So if you want a deeper harmony, you can pull up the throat length. Let's go on highways, highways, let's get out the 
away It's feeling so pretty I, I do anything for this I do anything And likewise, if you pull this down, you'll get a brighter, smaller vocal tract length. There's a vibrato section for each harmony voice as well. This will create a vibrato effect on the harmonies to vary the pitch a bit over time. You can control the rate of the vibrato here, the onset delay of the vibrato here, which is just a delay time in milliseconds that it takes for the vibrato effect to kick in. The pitch amount is the amount of pitch variation, and the amp amount is the amount of amplitude or volume variation, like a tremolo effect. The vibrato is really helpful for varying the signal of the harmonies a bit, so they're a bit more humanized. Let's go on highways, highways, let's get out the city and drive late, drive away, this feeling so pretty, I, I do anything for this, I do anything, I'd risk it all. The choir module at the bottom can receive signal from the input audio or each of the harmonies. This effect is based on the Antares Choir plugin, which is a standalone version of this, and it allows you to thicken the voice with additional voices, like a natural chorus or ensemble effect. So if I want my harmony to have a bit of this effect, I'll just click here to engage this effect on the harmony channel. Then I can adjust the number of voices I want, the vibrato variation, pitch variation, and timing variation, as well as add a stereo spread effect. Let's go on highways, highways, let's get out the city and drive late, drive away, this feeling so pretty, I, I do anything for this, I do anything, I'd risk it all. Great, so let's hear what this sounds like with everything back in the mix. In this next example, I'll show you how to create multiple harmonies using all four harmony voices in Harmony Engine. This song is titled Crazy by the artist Echo. Let's give this a listen with dry vocals in the chorus. Now for this song, they want an intentional artificial harmony effect on her vocals, and Harmony Engine makes this very easy to do. So I've got Harmony Engine loaded up on the lead vocal. This song is in the key of C sharp minor, so I'm gonna set the root to D flat, which is the end harmonic of C sharp, and then the scale, I'll select natural minor. I'll also change the vocal range to soprano. I'll pull up the input channel a bit because I still want this to be the predominant vocal here. And these vocals aren't quite as clean as the last example, so I'll roll down the tracking a bit to a more relaxed setting. Let's give this a listen with just the vocals soloed and the stock harmony settings. Okay, so let's change up the harmony a bit. I think I'll keep the octave above, I'll just pull the level down a bit. Instead of a fifth above, I'll change this to a fourth below. Technically, a fourth below is the same note as a fifth above, just an octave lower. I'll keep the third above, and then I'll swap out the octave lower for a sixth below. And again, a sixth below is actually the same note as a third above, just an octave lower. I'll make a few adjustments to my pan positions, and then I'll dial in the volume of each harmony to taste. Losing my cool, breaking my rules. I don't usually get so out of my head, walking the edge. What am I falling into? Up top, you can adjust the humanize parameters. The naturalize control lets you select how much of the natural vibrato and pitch variation from the voice input will be applied to the generated harmony voices. Lower settings will remove some of the original vibrato and pitch variation from the harmony voices and higher settings will allow more of it through. And you can also adjust the amount of pitch variation and timing variation in the harmony voices. I'm gonna pull the timing down a bit because I'm starting to hear sort of like a slap back echo effect. I want the timing to be a bit tighter. The glide controls the transition time between notes during legato passages. 
If I find that transitions between harmonies are sounding a little glitchy, I'll usually roll this up a bit for a smoother effect. Losing my cool, breaking my rules, I don't usually get so out of my head, walking the edge, what am I falling into? The freeze button freezes the harmony output and the input voice will just continue as normal. This is helpful if you're not sure about a particular harmony and you want to sort of pause the playback on a certain harmony and hear it continuously. And like I demonstrated in the previous example, you can add vibrato and the choir effect to each of the voices individually. Losing my cool, breaking my rules, I don't usually get so out of my head. Walking the edge, what am I falling into? Now it's very common to want to hear the harmonies and the lead vocal on separate channels. So what I'll do at this point is mute the input channel so that I just hear the harmony parts. Then what I'll do is duplicate the vocal channel and duplicate the vocal recording. And on the lead vocal track, I'll bypass Harmony Engine. So now I have separate mix control over the dry vocal and the harmony parts. So that's an introduction to the Harmony Engine plugin from Intaras. It's an incredible tool for building one or multiple harmonies on a single vocal or instrumental part. Stay tuned for some future videos where I do some deep dives into Harmony Engine's more advanced features. Thanks for watching.